Okay, in this video I'm making a chin rest for Abby, who's a part of a violin. And uh, we're going to start off by making a rectangle on one of our planes. And I'm not going to use too many dimensions, but I will use the overall dimensions that I found for this part for uh, 2.25 by 4.25. Once we have this rectangle, I'm going to draw a box around it, make these all construction lines. And now I'm going to sketch the rest of this out, just like I'm looking at it from a top view, inside of this box. So I'm going to start off with the circle down here, so I know the bottom's kind of round. I have that tangent to this bottom line. And I'm going to scoot it over just a little bit and make a three point arc. It's going to touch somewhere on that circle and somewhere up here. I'm going to make that tangent to the circle. And I need to make another circle up here. I want this arc to be tangent to my circle and to extend all the way up to it. Now I'm going to draw this arc here. I have it touch somewhere over here. I need this to extend all the way out and come back in and touch. I'll make my arc tangent again. After I have all my arcs tangent, I'm going to go ahead and trim off the top and the bottom of these circles. And I can extrude this shape. I want to extrude it for its final height, and I don't have what the final height is. but we can estimate. So right now we'll go ahead and go for one inch. I'm sure it's actually smaller. We're going to look at the origin folder and make a new sketch on this plane. I want to make this sketch to cut off the side details. So now I'm starting here. I want this to be tangent to this line. Wherever that left off, I continue down. I want these tangent to each other. Maybe not. I'll leave it not tangent. I didn't like that. I'm gonna make a big circle here. Make a couple of lines that's gonna go up to the quadrants of the circle. So I'm just going to grab and drag that up a little higher. I'm just going to make a regular line. Make those two tangent. And we'll 
pull that up just a little higher. Okay, we want to cut out the parts that are on top and bottom of this whole thing. So we have to make extra lines. trim in the parts that we don't need. Let's see what happens when we go to extrude. We want to change this to cut, change your distance to all, and looks like we missed something right at the edge, so we're going to make this box go a little bit past. see it goes just past. And of course, now something is wrong. We can cut out the bottom half and not the top. So let's see what's wrong. If you ever have problems, right click, select Sketch Doctor, and diagnose the sketch with all of these tests. Since so that's one problem. And now it thinks it's finished, and everything works. Sweet. Change your distance to all. Okay, there's a side profile. Now I want to look at it from this side going back. So we're going to make a new sketch on it'll be my YZ plane. Alright. So I'm going to make a couple of sketches. Let's tangent to that top line. It has a little bit of a curve here. lines don't connect yet, so I'm going to make sure those actually touch. That's a coinciding constraint. Make a vertical line straight down. Drag that over just a little. And see if I can't project this geometry. And I didn't project it where I wanted it to. So I don't want to cut off that line. There we go. I'm removing everything that is outside of that area. I 
can't tell what this side looks like. I think I'm actually going to take this. That's a little bit of a harsh angle, but we'll make it work. So now it should be removing all of this, as long as I draw an extra line here. Go, switch it to cut, change your distance to all. Alright, we get a couple of uh, funky grooves over here, which isn't too bad. We're going to use our fillet tool to round those out. And see how much of a fillet it can take. Just make it look nice make sure the shape is about the right size. So clean it up just a little bit with fillets. If you see any extras like this, you can always go back in and make a new sketch on it and just cut that one little part off. Like here, something wasn't quite right. So let's draw a box around it, extrude, cut. I don't want the whole distance. I can go up just enough to take that off. Alright, and again, just use fillets to make the rest of it look good. Okay, good luck.